The 2025 Atlantic hurricane season kicks off on June 1st and it is expected to be another year with an above normal activity in the tropical Atlantic. This is 2024. Of course, we had two major category five hurricanes, Barrel and Milton Barrel being the earliest category five on record uh, impacting parts of the Western Gulf, including Texas. Now every year, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration releases an outlook as far as what they think the storms are going to be, how many of them. Uh, last year we had 18 named storms, 11 hurricanes, five major hurricanes, and both the preseason and midseason outlook were pretty much right in line with what happened. Now for this season, we are again uh, seeing a forecast for more storms than normal. 13 to 19 from NOAA for named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, 3 to 5 major hurricanes. Colorado State University, one of the leaders in some hurricane research, they come out with an outlook every year. 17 named storms, 9 hurricanes, 4 major hurricanes. This is that name list that we'll be seeing here in 2025. One new name to the list this year that is Dexter replacing Dorian, which of course devastated the Bahamas back in 2019. One of the main drivers of this year's hurricane season could be a returning La Nina. La Nina is a cooler than normal area of water off the uh, Atlantic or the Pacific coast rather of South America that can hypercharge the Atlantic hurricane season. It's about a 34% chance for that, but a 53% chance of neutral conditions, which honestly don't go one way or the other. Sea surface temperatures 80 degrees or above are usually what we need for tropical development. And of course, the Gulf, the Caribbean, uh, they are seeing those higher sea surface temperatures already, which is typical for the beginning of the season. We don't usually look out all the way into the tropical Atlantic, but during the month of June, we keep our attention close to home. Storms can form in the Gulf or in the Western Caribbean, and they typically track towards Florida or potentially towards Texas. We'll, of course, keep a watch out for you. Reporting in the studio, Sean Bellafuri, KWTX News 10.